Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were collecting crew. Now, there is another person to collect here, but I don't know why I've come through here. <laughs> Never mind, let's go back downstairs. So there's somebody else, if I can find them. And they're outside... Let's see what this fellow... Oh yeah, we've already spoke to him in the last video, didn't we? Now, is there... A cham here. For some reason, my cham sensors are tingling, but I'm pretty sure we dealt with that in the last episode. Let's get our wiggle on. Yeah, I was pretty sure we already got this cham. Okay, cool. Whatever. I guess we can go back down very slowly climb down this ladder there we go cool yeah that's weird i thought there was hmm that's gonna bug me okay well i'll check my notes once we've found a few more <coughs> things now that guy's kind of powerful so we're gonna leave him uh, alone for now if we go to the item shop however i believe there's another recruit we can get Hey there, handsome. I heard about you. Everybody seems to be talking about you. Vase the darling. Or daring, I should say. I'm glad I actually got to meet you. Alright, let's talk about various things. Sailor's Island is a great trading port. That's why we get new wares and sir to sell every once in a while so you should check back every now and again and to, to see what new stuff we have on sale since new trade routes are opening up nowadays you never know what sorts of things we'll have on sale here sometime or another right let's have a little look i suppose it couldn't hurt to refresh all the cheap stuff she's actually selling all of the good stuff now as well so uh so that's all hp for one ally that's pretty good. We do want all of those back too. Magic do. Yeah. That's significantly more expensive, but it's significantly better as well. Uh, unfortunately, these things are hellishly expensive. So, yeah. Might pass on that for now. Um, so, restores all HP for one ally. That's actually pretty good. These are going to be expensive as well, but these are kind of useful. 4,000. Do it. Definitely going to be useful. 24. We'll get another one as well. 25. Cool. Um, now, these restores 1,000 to everybody. Again, it's going to be expensive, but it's really useful. 32. Let's get another 8. I always like to round them up. I've not OCD, but I just like to round them up. Always have done in these games. So we've got 40 of those, 25 of those. Cool. So what else do we have? Uh, we don't really need that. We've already got 23 of those anyway. It increases the power of one ally. We've got plenty of those, 65. Increases quick for the entire party. Yeah, that's good. Uh, developed by two locos. Allows one ally ally to regenerate health that's really nice and we can actually uh, buy choms here too so not bad all right well it's not you that i actually want to get into business with is it it is of course somebody over here yeah we're going to avoid the anime guy for now so pinta so, you finally have your very own ship, huh? Maybe it will make things easier for the both of us if I just go with you. Okay. <laughs> so, he's a delegate. He's joined our party. Have a look at the weapon shop. See if there's anything new here. I've heard of you, Vase the, da the Darling. That is Daring. It's not Darling. Daring. Huh. I wish I had a nickname like that. That's really tripping over my dyslexia. So let's talk about various things. Most weapons are made... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's just going to tell us the same old stuff. Buy and sell weapons. 
Do you have anything new? Ah. Funny enough. That's actually better for Ica. Interesting. So we've got Scout Wing and Break Hand. These are way obsolete, even by today's standards. Tight fitting suit that resists damage from yellow magic spells. Yeah, we don't need any of that. However, naval uniform. Better for Vase and Ica. So, I mean, only marginally. But, you know, if it's better, it's better. I guess. Even if it's uh, only designed for light duties. I'll right, we'll equip one for Vase, and we'll equip one for Ica. And then I guess we can sell our old stuff. Pretty unbelievable that that stuff's better than that, but hey, whatever. Sell the Maiden's Armor as well. Apparently this stuff's legendary, but no good. Right, ah, yeah. We need to also see if any of this stuff's better for our ship. I actually forgot about doing that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll come again, don't worry. Have a look at the old Delphinus. Ah, oh, right. We can't apparently equip anything else on it. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Would have thought that all of our old ship gear would be so unbelievably obsolete. Uh, cool. Right, well, let's just sell it all then, I suppose. There's no point holding on to it. Get rid of that. And this stuff's worth a good amount of money, too. Yeah. Can we really not? I think these things we actually can. But it's just weapons that aren't compatible. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. These weapons are so old and obsolete. I think we actually have to buy our weapons somewhere else for the Delphinus. If memory serves. But that's cool. That's more coin in our pockets. Because, have I mentioned that we're going to need a lot of coin? Hunter Torpedo. That's a nice amount of gold as well. Um, right. So. Let's see if we can actually add that other stuff. Not getting the option. Which is a bit strange. It might be something to do with the fact that we need to get the... Yeah, equipment. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we can put all this stuff on. Bastard. We can put all this stuff on. That's fine. I mean, if it's going to improve things, it's going to improve things, isn't it? I guess we could have another steel deck, or we could have a turbo kit. Eh. Would I rather the armor? I don't really need the armor in this thing. But a bit of extra speed ain't gonna hurt, is it? Okay. So let's sell weapons. Let's sell our last bit of kit. Still deck. Get rid of it. Okay, now we can get out of here. Let's leave. So we've got some new crew. So, you know, that's something. Now, I suppose... I kind of want to take him on, but he is a little bit of a pain. I think we'll get some levels first. Especially for Enrique. Ah, we haven't checked them. Hmm. Talking of leveling and stuff. How many moonberries do we have? Should have a few, right? Good Enrique. Super moves. Oh, we've got six moonberries. That's nice. 
Alright, we've got Royal Blade, which uh, slashes at a single enemy in a flurry of precise sword attacks. Not bad. Let's get that one. Justice Shield creates a defensive barrier for one turn. All physical damage received is cut in half. It's actually quite nice. And uh, we can't get his final move yet, unfortunately. His final move, from what I can remember, is stupendously powerful. Um, uh, Vase summons the spirit of an ancient air pirate to defend and counterattack for his crew. That one's quite good. So I think that uh, counterattacks all of your crew members. Creates a mirror-like aura that envelopes Ica for one turn and restores ten. Eh, All oh, right, okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll get that. Skull shield. Ah, skull shield. I remember that. Now I've seen its name. Skull shield. Yeah, that's powerful. That's really powerful. I think it blocks some of the... I can't remember if it blocks all of the damage. We can experiment with it anyway. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's return to our ship for now. And whilst we're out floating around, I think... We've got to kind of go the long way around. The Daniel Strait. Well... Moonstone Mountain... Uh, Shrine Island and Pirate Island aren't that far away, are they? Because we could go back to Nasrad and get some more crew members. Crescent Island. There is some discoveries we can get. Let's go get some more crew members for now. We have so much potentially that we can do. It's kind of crazy at this point. Um, are we going to the right? Yeah, we need to kind of go like northeast. That's fine. Hopefully we can get some battles and start earning some more money. So this is the this isn't straight, I don't think. The Daniel Strait. And you can see we're fighting on the deck of our new ship, which just looks cool. Ah, oh, look at this. Wheat before the scythe. Um I guess actually we can try his... what does that do? Creates defensive barrier for one turn. All physical damage received. Yeah, I think that's just for him. Let's go for Royal Blade. Let's experiment with that one. <clears throat> okay. I mean, he might not even get to use Royal Blade. I don't think he's going to get to use Royal Blade. He is not going to get to use Royal Blade. Yeah, so he might not be very good at commanding a ship. But he's very good in combat, and we're getting, like, no money for that whatsoever. Which, I guess, comes as a surprise to no one. Ah, wait. Wait. I don't think... We can't go through. No, we are at, like, a complete... I think we're almost... At a complete standstill at the moment. Unless they're going to let us go through the pass, which they should do. Um, Ica, actually, yeah, he's not going to get a turn, is he? They might just get Lambada burst everything, get rid of everything, kill everything in one go. I mean, I guess XP is XP, right? So we should be able to go through this straight now. You know, owing to the fact that there's nothing left, Nasrad has completely surrendered. Hey man, I think there's a couple of people we can get here. Let us see, a box of tomatoes with one, two, no, this box is not any good either. When only this many survive the fire you cannot miscount even if you wanted to yeah this wow place has been completely destroyed notice the music's different as well 
kind of cool. There's actually some chests we can get here as well that we couldn't get before. I say some chests. I think there's one chest we can get. Oh, dude. Absolutely trashed. I mean, I guess they're going to have to start rebuilding. All right, buddy. Godspeed. Anyway, remember we needed to get a decent, well-trained, powerful gunner. I've got an idea who might be willing to take the job. Alright there, dude. I came intending to replenish my supplies in Nasrad. The place is burned to the ground. What a shock. There's almost nothing being sold in the shops, and even what's available is so expensive. But I have to replenish my supplies somehow. Yeah. Trading port has been decimated. Our job was to defend Nasrad, but we were completely helpless to do anything. It makes me damn angry, and I'm sure I'd like to go beat Valua to a pulp. Well, I've got positions. Boss Kazim is in the turret at the top of the wall. Boss says he's going to attack Valua and get revenge even if he has to do it all by himself. Really? Well, you stay there, friend, and let me go have a little word with your boss. I've got a proposal that he might like. I have a rather powerful unmatched ship that needs a gunner. He looks pretty happy. Mm, he's not happy now. Oh crap, damn it all. They called me the best gunner around. I was Kazim the crack shot. But I let down my guard and before I could do anything to stop him, the enemy turned the whole city into dust. It really chaps my hide. I think I'll fly right over to Valuo and give them a blast in the old chops. Uh, to be fair, there was a whole armada and you one man with a cannon. <sighs> calm down, calm down. If you do anything like that, you'll get blasted right back. It's way too reckless. Haha, <laughs> so says the man who was so reckless as to escape from Valua twice over. What a... That... You're not... Could you be that pirate vase who abducted the Valuan Prince and blasted your way out of the Grand Fortress? Well, I don't know about the abducted part. But otherwise, yes, I am indeed Vase. In that case, you've got to do this for me. Vase, let me join your crew. <laughs> Before he beats us to death, I'll never be satisfied until I've delivered a blow from my cannon to Valua. I must join forces with you and become your ship's gunner. Good, it's decided. Well, well, it doesn't sound like you'll take no for an answer, so I suppose I might as well have you come aboard. Yeah, only this time. Let's not fall asleep at the wheel, yeah? That cannon doesn't look like it's uh, up to much anymore. Not sure if it's actually put out of action or whether it just looks trashed. Either or, I suppose. Okay. Right. Oh, those guards are gone too. I wonder if they come on board. I actually can't remember. I'm not sure where this chest is that I'm looking for. Wow, look at this place. Completely totaled. Luckily the ships that are docked here weren't damaged. Oh well, let's go see if we can recruit anybody else. Pretty sure we can. Right. Um. Keep going. I'm trying to think where this bloody chest was. Oof. Man still carrying his sack. I never expected the Nasrim forces to collapse so easily before Valian attack. Alas, no one ever dreamed the Valians could come through the North Daniel Strait. Uh, what with the Sky Rift blocking the way. They were caught so completely off guard that the cannons on the palace walls never got a single shot. Was Kazim mad? Oh, I guess there was multiple cannons. 
Well, before we do anything, let's go have a nap. Welcome, welcome. It's a terrible mess all around, but this inn has survived. It will be 240 golden nights. Would you like a room? Yeah, let's stimulate the economy just a little bit, if we can. Because, man, I think this place needs it. Uh, right. Did you sleep well? Well, goodbye. Good luck. Yeah, I think we slept alright. Now let's have a little gander, shall we? Uh, so we've got a weapon shop over here, actually. This place has survived. They might actually sell us cannons that are compatible with our ship. Might. Alright there, dude. Hey, it's Vase. You're so lucky. People call you Vase? Yeah, 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 yeah. You say the same thing the other guy says. Let's talk. Those Valians are truly merciless. They confiscate. Oh. They confiscated all my merchandise. All that I had in this world. Uh, yep, yeah, you're still selling me stuff. Right. Ah, this is cool. Yeah, we can actually buy these. So, an advanced cannon. Hmm. And value and torpedoes. A sculpture based on the mythical guardian of Pyrin increases magic defense, compound desk. Oh, compound desk? Compound deck. State of the art cooking facilities for great tasting dinners every night. I don't think that actually does anything. Applying this wax to the ship and cannons improves attack power and defense power. Nice. Gear grease. And a deluxe kit. Well, let's get some more gear grease. I'm pretty sure that we can actually uh, get some more of that. Or get something better than that soon. Um, I guess we can get two of these. Yeah, 150. And then more accurate. Cool. Go for the advanced cannons. Do I want a third advanced cannon? No. I don't think so, because I think hmm we'll get the torpedo definitely want a torpedo do we want I uh, could get two torpedoes maybe I think we will get the 10-inch cannon, just because it it is cheaper on the spirit power. These take seven spirit to fire, whereas that only takes four. Okay, cool. Right, compound deck is better than the steel deck, so we'll have that. Swap that out for the steel deck. Now, enhanced kitchen. This doesn't do anything. Uh, I believe you need it for something. It's for one of the um, for one of the titles. It's like the luxurious captain or something. It's to do with your swashbuckling rating. Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna need anything else. Okay. All right, let's just sell the old stuff. Prototype cannon. We've got four of them. We only took two off, though, right? Oh, no. We upgraded all of them. Idiot. All right, let's sell all of those. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't sell my cannons. It's like, oh, right. We, up we upgraded the lot. Right, 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 right. Cool. So now our cannons are upgraded. Cheers, friend. 
our shop is more dang our shop our ship is more dangerous than before if that's possible um i don't think ah yes he's going to pay us 20,000 for uh to cat's coin um cool sell the coin you'll sell it to me that's wonderful people have been searching for this coin for ages thank you so much hey 20,000 gold uh right is there anything new we can buy no now let's check the wanted list so loose cannon lapin um that i th think I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Because we've got him. I don't think we can do those yet. I think we need to get the blue... Yeah, we need to get the blue crystal before we can fight that person. But yeah, using gun arm, a machine of his own creation, this pirate seems to enjoy wanton destruction of property. But even his machine... Is capable of producing a multitude of smaller drones as well as having a large arsenal of weaponry stored inside yeah he's kind of tough so we're not going to worry about that just yet okay so we've managed to keep our money oh god keep our money going we haven't really lost that much to be honest which is nice yeah we know all about the sailors guild okay wouldn't mind to try and find a sword. Oh, the sword shop. It's on the other side. Uh, that's destroyed. Of course it is. This is the bar. The two girls worked at for so long. Everybody's saying that the, the Sultan and his family were all executed. <laughs> okay, I was going to say maybe we should go... Um, poke our nose through the door and have a word but they say they were all dragged off to Valua and they were executed in front of a huge crowd even his family this game's dark man man I can't believe it how could Nasrad have been reduced to this the people who used to come here have either died or left town there's almost no one left perhaps there's nothing left to do but to close up shop yeah yeah, this place really got devastated, huh? Osman, my shop! My shop is gone! It's too much to bear! My shop is nothing more than a heap of rubble. My clerk ran off with all the money. Oof, I'm completely ruined. I feel kind of sorry for her, you know, Vase. Maybe we should take... Oh, maybe we should take her with us on our ship ship you own a ship how big is it how much cargo can it hold how much money do you make transporting goods uh more of a battleship actually <laughs> you may not look like much but you seem to be doing well for yourself okay i've decided i'll go with you on your ship sounds like i can make some money hold on a second you can't just decide that by yourself i am an excellent trader i can help you find treasures that would normally be almost impossible to find Hmm, okay, so we've got merchants. I think that basically gives us a shop permanently on board, if memory serves. Um, right, this place is all trashed. Ah, there's the chest. We couldn't get this chest before, but now we can. Get a moonberry, which we might actually be able to use straight away. Ah, uh, yeah, we can. Hmm, can't spend it on you. Can't spend it on you. Oh, I guess we get Ikers. Uh, Epsilon Mirror, I suppose. Can't remember exactly what that does. I have a feeling it makes her immune to magic. Anyway, keep having a look around, shall we? Oh ho ho, I am known as ah, Mystery Merchant. 
Let's talk about various things. Somewhere in this world, there exists an island which grows a very expensive spice called kale. Yeah, we actually need that for something later on. Uh, hmm. No, don't need it. Don't need any of that stuff, sir. Hopefully you've uh, got your own ship which you can escape this hellhole with. I think that's basically all there is to see here. Uh, see if we can go to the temple. Though I'm pretty sure we can't. That's crazy though. Talk about utterly destroying your enemy. Ah, here we go. Item shop. Well, it's Vase the Darren. Is it not? Thank you for visiting my shop. It's an honor to have you. Yeah, alright, dude. Alright. Then the Sultan and all the soldiers were taken away to Valua. We civilians are the only ones left. Under the red moon, the kingdom of Nassar was a place of such glory and splendor. It is astonishing to see how fragile it all was. Yeah, kind of crazy how everything can disappear in an instant. You don't really have much here. All right, dude. Yeah, well, your journey's certainly been lit, hasn't it? At least your town's been lit. Alright, see if this dude's got any weapons for us. I have heard of you, Vaser Dari. I wish I had a title like that. Most of the soldiers have been captured and taken away. The rest have been disarmed. And all the weapons in town have been seized. Why was my merchandise spared? Well... As it is said, with enough gold you can buy your way out of the value and grand fortress. Alright, so I guess you paid them off. So we can get the Iron Cutter. Immunity ring. Boost defense and resistance to avert... Ooh. Ah, can't be equipped to any of those people. Well, that's useful. Uh, I'll get the Iron Cutter. Ancient blade of pre-old world times. It is said that this blade was used to cut iron ore. Really? Now it's going to be used to cut value and necks. Okay. Is that it? Guess so. Alright, well, let's sell the old blade, I suppose. Stone Cutter. A good chunk of our money back. Well, I don't think there's going to be many places coming here, or many people coming here ever again. The place has kind of been absolutely destroyed. There really is nothing left. Oh, the couple survived at least. Oh, almost forgot about that. Everything's changed so much, but at least the water still flow. Yeah, don't worry about the water phase. Worry about the cham. Excellent. Uh, right, feeder. Might as well feed that straight away. Still a spike. A massive bombing raid turned the bazaar into a heap of rubble had to be closed because it was too dangerous. Well, since my house was burned down and all of my valuables were confiscated, I wouldn't really be able to afford anything anyway. Without money or a place to play, the only thing left for us to do is to sit here and whisper sweet nothings to each other by the fountain. Well, I guess at least they're in good spirits. Ah, it doesn't look like we can actually get to the palace. I don't know, maybe we can. Yeah, maybe we can. Or maybe not. 
Now this place is going to need to be rebuilt, but that's not going to happen until the valuer is put out of commission. But we're working on it. Slowly but surely, we're working on it. Okay. Oh man, we're on 35 minutes. I didn't even realise. Okay, let's go back. Let's save it. We'll call it a video. So guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. And interesting, coming back, seeing how messed up everything is. Nasrad completely burnt to the ground. Hmm. But we got some more crew. More crew itching for a bit of vengeance. So, in the next video, we shall make it so. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.